Bob Folkrod is hunting deer in central Wisconsin at his good friend Paul Keller's place. This is in the heart of prime farm country. The mixture of crop fields, rolling hills, timbered draws, and fence rows are the perfect combination for growing and hunting big bruiser whitetails. Good times, good eats, and big bucks are in store for Bob on this trip to the frozen tundra. The evening meal of wonderfully grilled backstraps really has Bob looking forward to tomorrow's hunt. Daylight finds Bob set up on the edge of a cornfield where Paul has placed two ground blinds side by side, one for Bob and one for the cameraman. First deer out of the season. I'm pretty excited about it too. I think we just filled our doe tag. We'll go take this to the check-in station. They put a little sticker on our license and it means that we can hunt buck now. Shame on them. Bob Fulcrod is deer hunting in Wisconsin on his friend Paul Keller's farm. The hunt has just started and Bob has already filled his doe tag. After properly tagging and checking the doe, Bob trades his morning ground blind location for a tree stand overlooking one of Paul's well-designed food plots. The action starts fast, and the first buck of the day is a nice one. Distracted by the nine point, Bob and the cameraman are surprised to see this big boy has entered the field. This is the huge 10 point that Paul has been getting pictures of on his trail cameras. The buck hears what Bob is saying, but chooses to stay with the doe that walked into the timber just in front of him. It's been a pretty exciting evening. We had that nine boy walk down the road right off the bat. He walked down and we had that big ten point out in the field. That's the one he, he was hoping we would see and he would get a shot at him. That buck had other things on his mind. I think our snow turned to rain. Early sleet. I hope it ain't freezing rain. I won't be able to get in this stand. Bob Folkrod is bow hunting deer in central Wisconsin on Paul Keller's beautiful family farm they call The Ridge. After an encounter with a big, wide 10-point buck on the first evening's hunt, bad weather has forced Bob out of the stand. Things haven't gotten much better by the next morning. 
The sleet and ice has changed to heavy rain and puts the hunt on hold until about 10 o'clock. It's raining out the rod. We did not this morning. It was raining pretty hard. But we decided to get in there on from 10.30 until, uh, until dark if, unless it starts raining. It's 1 o'clock now. I'm going to sign off for right now. But it's, it's a little rainy and foggy, but we're making the best out of it. As soon as the rain quits, a doe starts heading Bob's way down the edge of the food plot. She's being followed by a nice 10 point. Hopefully he'll take the same path. I got a drilling rush right now. <laughs> That's my first year of the season in here in Wisconsin with Paul Keller. I'll tell you what, not only he's got a fantastic piece of property, his family, his wife, his son, his friends, everything has just treated me just like family. And a special thanks goes out to those guys because it's just been a great, great hunt here in Wisconsin with the, with the Kellers. Thanks again. And I got, I got the shakes. I'm hanging on for dear life. <laughs> I don't need this for tracking deer. But I'm gonna pull this off anyway. <laughs> there he is right there. Oh my goodness sakes, he looks like he's bedded. He's got his horns all tied up in the, into, the, into the trees down there. Look at that. Oh, man. I think he's got pictures of this deer. On, a, on his camera. Look at that. Nice buck. Nice archery deer right there. Have her chasing a doll right in the prime of the rut. Yesterday we sat there and watched deer chasing all over the place and seeing a great big wide, nice 10 point. It rained this morning pretty heavy. We sat there and got this deer. I guess we got him to stand at 10.30 and we wound up getting around 2.30. He's a pretty buck right there. 